Okay, Dr. Hubner here, Natural Transplants. I'm here with Dave. You may remember Dave from uh, our, a surgery back he had back in February. So we're exactly, well, just a little over five months now. So Dave's coming back for a, a follow-up. And uh, Dave, how's everything been as far as the process of getting back to normal life? Has anyone mentioned anything? Uh, have you noticed any differences? Tremendous difference. Um, first off, when I got my hair cut just recently, my barber looked. He goes, he's never seen any transplant where there's absolutely no scarring at all. He couldn't believe that there, there was a transplant. He looked on the top of the head. He goes, it's the first time out of hundreds of people that he's cut the hair of in over 40 years that he's ever noticed anything like that. He goes, it's by far the best transplant period that he's ever noticed. And he goes, he's going to recommend people to Dr. Hubner. Um, he goes, if he needed a hair transplant himself, he's blessed a full head of hair, but he goes, if he did need one, it would definitely be Dr. Hubner for him. And, you know, if you just, not even six months already, I got almost all my hair back. Uh, just feel so confident. And I'm still told from the beginning that it's gonna take me a year to see the full difference. So. I can only imagine what the next six months are going to bring for me. Yeah, that's right. So, so if this is a race, you, you just lined up to the starting gate. So uh, he's not not even six months. So most hair doesn't even start to come in until about the three or four month mark. And the hair that does uh, initially come out ends up being a little bit wispy and thin, and initially, and then it thickens up remarkably over the next six months to a year. So you have another six months of growth, six months more thickening, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, but you can already see the difference in your profile. Your hairline looks much stronger already, even with those wispy hairs that are just coming in, and your crown is filling in as well, I'll show that as well. Um, he, keeping your hair real short has never been an issue. Ha, have you ever had an issue with the, hiding the scar, hiding the line in the back? Um, you know, are you limited as far as how you can wear your hair uh, in any way? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, you know, of course, the first week or two things are a little bit different but of course you know once the healing process is in and the healing starts it, it's fine I mean just nobody would even know I ever had a hair transplant which is just it's just amazing excellent and like I said my barber he's oh if he didn't know firsthand when he didn't see me at the beginning he wouldn't have believed it either so cool I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of pan around you here just for a second. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna include some of the pictures in your video too. So sometimes the pictures are easier to see, but you can see that, um, and you can really I'll do some befores and afters. But you can see how its hairline is. It's a lot stronger now in the front. The side profile looks much stronger as well, and in the top. So things are just coming in. I'm gonna show you the crown here, and the crown obviously is still filling in but you can see that it's, uh, it definitely has more coverage than it had before and this is going to thicken up remarkably over the next six months so very exciting man very excited for you dave thanks for letting us see this and uh and showing patients uh what the process is like and we look forward to following your progress thank you